I'm Reese Stein at your leisure with this week's Where To Adventure in Island Park, Idaho at the place which gave Idaho State Parks its very beginning, the beautiful and historic Harriman Ranch. I think it's very beautiful, very nice place. Like uh, the scene, or the scene is very like pretty. There's a lot of like wildlife. We're right next to like a lake, which is really cool. You see a bunch of birds fly by. Very majestic. Union Pacific Railroad tycoons, the Harriman family, including former New York Governor Averill, built their western retreat on a 15,000-acre cattle ranch in 1908. For the Harrimans, not cattle, but wildlife, the landscape and solitude were the real assets of their railroad ranch. My father grew up here, actually. This is the place where no matter who you are, what walk of life you come from, you walk away knowing something very special is here. In 1977, the family gifted Railroad Ranch to the state of Idaho on the condition it established a park authority to manage the place. In 1982, it opened to the public. Built in 1947, the Harriman Cottage retains all the charm and 20th century opulence the family needed for their summer getaways. A comforter to end all comforters. Look at this guy, he'll keep you warm. You can't go into any room without running into Yogi or one of his buddies. When the Harrimans walked out for the last time, they made a special request. Where the Harrimans live, we were able to go into their uh, original cottage and I thought it was, it was really neat to see that they had left their chaps on the wall and their boots in the corner and apparently they had asked once they donated you know please leave this there and they have and it's it's neat to see. Some of the buildings actually predate the Harrimans, others more recent. The character of the architecture and pristine setting takes the visitor back to a calmer more serene time. You feel a little isolated, which is kind of nice. Living in like Vegas, you're constantly surrounded by people. And it's kind of nice to just get out and just be around trees, like a nice lake, wildlife. There's no service, no Wi-Fi. Kind of like an escape from, you know, the modern day social media presence and stuff. Several buildings have been slightly upgraded and are available to rent for lodging, including the 1950s era cattle foreman's house, where our family bunked. It has three bedrooms, kitchen, bath, and living area, ideal for the six of us. My oldest son said, this is really cool, and it doesn't even have a flat screen TV. <laughs> this place is really good for kids. There's a lot of open spaces, a lot of green grass they can run around on. They've seen some elk, a lot of birds, so they're enjoying the wildlife and just enjoying the open air. Sitting on an 11,000 acre wildlife refuge, the ranch features the rare trumpeter swan, the largest flying bird in North America and an icon of Island Park. But the harem and swans can be a little testy and apparently don't like sharing Silver Lake with the geese. Yeah, there were a lot of elk and birds like outside of our porch and we had, we grabbed the binoculars and we could see them perfectly. The park has 20 miles of trails for hiking, biking, and horseback riding with an equestrian concessionaire ready to put you in the saddle. And be sure to take the short side trip to Mesa Falls for a spectacular photo op. Harriman State Park is just 30 miles from the west entrance to Yellowstone and offers less expensive and much more interesting accommodations. I love to be at Harriman Ranch and I think everybody really ought to take the time when they're going into Yellowstone to come here. Reese Stein at your leisure with this week's Where To Adventure at Idaho's idyllic Harriman State Park.